I met Pat. Um, she was the receptions here in um, Austin Hall. I think it was the year 1997-98 um, or 98-99, roughly that first year or so. Um, and I just noticed that she was very um, welcoming um, as far as a receptionist and um, I think her rapport with, with guests, faculty and staff was, was embracing. I remember Pat when she first started working here. She worked as a receptionist at the desk there and then she moved over to Steve. So, but ever since then, we've been pretty good friends, and now we are really good friends. Well, when I first came to Melbourne Prep, Pat was in Dennis Hall. So in order to get to Stewart Hall, I was in Carney Hall. I had to walk through Dennis to get to Stewart, or I did that. And she came out of her office there and said hello to me and befriended me, you might say. And I knew her. My sons went to school here, so before pick a time, you had to go through Pat Nicotera to get um, conferences. So I didn't really know her, but I always thought she sent the nicest emails back to me, like I could feel her warmth through the emails over the years. So when I met her, kind of put a face with that warmth. Pat came to work for me in the fall of 1999, when it was her first year, and uh, unfortunately, that was also a year I had um, surgery. I was out for an extended period of time, and then I had a relapse again in, in uh, February. So it was an extremely tough year for Pat, trying uh, coming in and transitioning from the receptionist to being the uh, assistant to the uh, head of the high school. Well, I think she's good at her job because she cares, and I think she's conscientious about what she does. I think she wants to do a good job. You know, it's important to her to do a good job, and I think she cares about the community and Malvern and Steve, keep him happy all those years, <laughs> right? She is dedicated. She wants to do a good job, and she does do a good job. Um, she's a good person, gets along with everybody. So she's good to work with. Pat was a um, go-to person for me. She basically took me under her wing. I barely even had to ask. She was just a wealth of information. And then, you know, from there it grows. Um, sometimes you might know something she might need as you learn the job or you have different skills. And so I think we all just, um, with Pat and like you said, the other admins have bonded. I admire Pat for her loyalty. She's been a really good friend to me. Pat has done a great job for, what is it now, 17 years as my assistant and three with Ron. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a tough job and I think she's done a, a very good balancing act as far as dealing with two pretty strong personalities over there and, uh, and, and, then, and also to be able to ha handle the, uh, and juggle those personalities in a day-to-day -day operation of the school with, with our different various responsibilities. One of her most important things are her family and her grandchildren How do you and her little dog. She has this little itty bitty dog that I call rat dog because I'm a big dog person. Well, that little Violet, her first little grandchild, and Pat's um, favorite color is purple. I don't know if you knew that. I'm sure you, she's got a lot of purple. Her granddaughter is Violet and uh, she just recently had a new grandson, Brett, but we, a uh, Rhett, excuse me. But we don't know too much about him yet because he's still a little guy, you know, he's not doing too much yet. But Violet, Michelle Lott and I always say, oh my gosh, Pat, when she shows us the pictures, we can see her grandmother in her. I think she's, a, she's very family oriented. Um, I know that she's going to take some time now and help Natalie with uh, the grandchildren, I think, which is awesome. Say, hey, Pat, enjoy every minute of it and when don't get up in the morning early. Well, Pat, I guess I just want to say to you, I am going to miss you. I wish you all the best. I think I said a little earlier, I think you should be look back with pride and be happy with all you accomplished and go forward with confidence. And I guess the main thing I want you to know is that I love you. And I'm really happy that our paths have crossed and that you are my treasured friend. And I'm sure I'll continue to see you as your journey continues outside of Malvern Prep.
Pat, you know, I, I wish you all the luck. I think that um, you've done a great job on, uh, you know, you and I have been through a lot together. A lot of different things have happened during both of our tenure here at Malvern, uh, especially with your help with me in 17 years of, of a lot of ups and downs. And I think that you've been a great sounding board for me. Uh, you've been totally supportive. I really appreciate your loyalty uh, over the years. Your, your loyalty was without question, and I really admire that in you. I admire your drive to become better at your job, uh, and I, I love the fact that you are so family-oriented. I think that's really important when you're building um, relationships and you're making connections with all the different stakeholders at Malvern Prep. And I think people really admire and you and respect you for that. So thank you for, you know, um, 17 uh, great years. And um, I wish you all the best. And I'm sure that you and I will, will do lunch. I'll make sure that um, I'll make the reservation for uh, 1245. And because uh, I know that you're probably going to show up at 1 and I'll just be waiting at the bar for you. So take care.